If you think you have bad neighbors, think again. A night party is nothing compared to what the neighbors in a village in Madagascar had to endure. It all started with a strange smell coming from a house that everyone considered abandoned. The smell was so nauseating that identifying its source took some time. Initially, local residents couldn't determine where the smell was coming from. It was so strong that residents began to choke on it. No one wanted to point fingers at their neighbors, so the problem continued to escalate. Eventually, everyone decided to join forces and discovered that the smell was coming from a house that looked abandoned. Neighbors now had to find a way to get inside. They could enter illegally, but the smell was so stale that they wanted to be sure that there was nothing dangerous inside. They considered calling the police, but they didn't want to bother them with what seemed rather a silly problem. Although everyone thought the house was abandoned, surprisingly, people were seen entering and exiting. The residents couldn't understand how anyone could approach such a stinky house, let alone enter it. After receiving a report, the police carried out their duties and searched the house. They asked some of the neighbors to guide them around the property. The officers had no idea what they might be dealing with upon entering, so they made the necessary preparations. In case anything went wrong, a team of specialists, including a forensic pathologist and a wildlife expert, accompanied them. Sori Randrian Jafiz was a member of the Flora and Fauna Committee. Her department was one of the specialized teams called by the police to investigate the house case. They were usually contacted in cases where foul smells were reported. The house was located in the city of Toliara, on the southwestern coast of Madagascar. The city is often described as incredibly beautiful and peaceful, a place where residents live together without any real worries. The Environmental Protection Agency was established a long time ago, so it has seen many crazy incidents involving animals. They have dealt with everything from scared kittens to feral predators. There are few things they haven't seen before. Upon arriving at the house, they realized that the stench was not something they had felt before. Sori had been in many different situations, but this one stood out from the others. Neither she nor her team had ever smelled anything like this house. Now they were completely unsure of what they would find inside, except for the horrible smell coming from inside the house looked quite normal. It was large, and from the outside you couldn't tell that it hid a terrible secret. However, it was so quiet inside that you could hear a pin drop. Everyone wondered why such a nice house had been abandoned. They also checked if it was for sale. It wasn't. At this stage of the investigation, Sori was convinced that the smell was related to animals. Only animals trapped in a confined space could produce such a stench. However, she couldn't completely discard the idea that there might also be people in the house. When the team arrived on the scene, they came face to face with strangers, and they had shovels in their hands. Not only that, but they were also digging holes. It seemed that they were trying to do it as quickly as possible. Nobody understood the situation. All hypotheses were thrown out the window. The house was not only not abandoned, but people were digging holes around it, adding more mystery to the situation. Seeing strangers digging holes around the house, the police decided to intervene. They began to question the individuals who quickly showed their identification cards. This would be an interesting development. It turned out that the men were animal control officers. They were called in because the situation was getting out of control and there was an urgent need to dig holes. The reasons why would soon become apparent. The mystery of the digging men was solved, but the main question remained, what was inside the house? It was time to open the door and solve this mystery once and for all. After getting the necessary equipment, Sori and her team prepared to enter the house. As soon as they opened the door, the smell hit them. It was even worse inside than it was outside. They had to cover their mouths and noses to prevent vomiting. The house was full of waste and there was hardly any clean area. After looking around, they finally saw what was causing the smell. It was a tortoise. Not just one or two, but thousands of them. The house was full of tortoises. There was hardly any space to walk without stepping on them. It was a nightmare scenario. The tortoises were in a terrible condition. Many were undernourished and sick and some were even dead. The team couldn't believe what they were seeing. It was like a horror movie scene, and they didn't know how to react. After taking a few moments to process what they had just discovered, they quickly got to work. Their main goal was to rescue as many tortoises as possible. The team didn't have much time. The tortoises needed food, water, and medical attention immediately. And so, the rescue mission began. 
they started taking the tortoises out of the house one by one. It was a time-consuming and heartbreaking task, but they knew they had to do it. They had to save as many tortoises as possible. In the end, the team managed to rescue over 9,000 tortoises from the house. After the rescue operation, the authorities began searching for the owner of the house. It turned out that the house was being used by animal traffickers. They were illegally keeping the tortoises in the house and selling them in the black market. The owner of the house was arrested and charged with animal cruelty and illegal trafficking. This incident highlighted the serious problem of animal trafficking. Thousands of animals are captured and sold illegally every year. This not only harms the animals, but also disrupts the balance of the ecosystem. It is important for everyone to understand the seriousness of this issue and work together to put an end to animal trafficking. It was indeed a traumatic experience for everyone involved, but it also served as a reminder of the importance of protecting animals and preserving nature. Despite the tragedy, the team was relieved that they were able to rescue so many tortoises and bring the perpetrators to justice. They vowed to continue their fight against animal trafficking and work tirelessly to protect and conserve wildlife.